good morning children this is a social science class in this class we are going to learn about weather and climate so in the last class we saw about trade and territory uh, today in geography we are going to discuss this about weather and climate so in this chapter we'll come to know about the importance of weather and climate and elements of weather and climate instruments used to measure these weather and weather climates so what kind of weather and climate of our place everything we are going to discuss in this chapter climate is one of the basic elements in the natural environment it affects landforms soil types fauna and flora it influences man to a large extent so climate is considered to be the one of the main things of a natural environment because it only affects our landforms the soil types fauna means animals flora means uh, plants okay so everything uh, was affected by this uh, climate so it influences man also to a large extent weather and climate influence man's activities like what we eat we are the house in which we live and work farming sailing fishing and even our play time etc so weather and climate only influences a man activities our activities also influenced by weather and climate for example um, in winter and all no in rainy season we used to uh, eat many hot items okay we used to drink hot items so it our uh, lifestyle is different differed the the things we wear the clothes we wear also differ according to the climate change so in this chapter we are going to learn about uh, weather and climate only weather is a day to day conditions or an atmosphere of any place and regards sunshine temperature cloud cover wind fog condition air pressure humidity and other such elements so weather is day to day conditions Uh, it is not for long period it is a day to day condition it uh, it is regard of sunshine temperature the day's temperature wind air pressure humidity everything it refers to a short period like a day a week a month or a little longer so uh, it is a short period of time maybe one day or one week or for a few months so that is called weather well, To, uh, for example we used to hear people would say that today's climate is too good but it is a very wrong statement instead we have to say it is a good weather today is a good good weather because uh, about this uh, about that particular time only they are say right so today means the present day so for a short period only so that time we have to say only weather climate means it is for a long time we will see that climate is generally defined as the average conditions of the weather of a place or a region so it is about a place or a region particular place or a region uh, it is a long period of time which, which is usually of 35 years so it is not a short period it is about 35 years next we'll see about the controlling factors of weather and climate angle of the sun rays the length of daytime altitude distribution of land and water bodies location and direction of mountain ranges air pressures wind ocean currents are the major factors which affect the weather and climate of a region so these are the major factors uh, sun rays altitude uh, water bodies location so where the uh, area is located the mountain ranges the pressure so these are the major factors that affect the uh, weather and climate of a region next we'll see about the element of weather and climate so what are the very basic elements of weather and climate temperature rainfall pressure humidity and wind are the major elements of weather and climate now, now we'll see about temperature the temperature is one of the key elements of weather and climate so it is one of the main element of weather and climate the earth and its atmosphere get heated from sun through insulation so the earth and its atmosphere it is heated Uh, through the sun rays only right the sun rays which we get from the sun only uh, heat the earth from that only we get heat and light right the degree of heat present in air is termed as temperature so the degree of heat present in the air see for example when you have uh, fever also we used to uh, have a thermometer right so after seeing that only the te- temperature body temperature will, will be uh, set okay so uh, our body has certain temperature the body heat okay so likewise the degree of heat present in the air is termed as temperature so this temperature it varies with the time due to the changes in the level of radiation which the earth surface when the when the earth uh, reach the surface okay 
Mm. Next we'll see factors affecting the distribution of temperature. So latitude, altitude, nature of land, ocean currents, slope, shelter, distance from the sea. All these are the factors that affect the distribution of temperature. So the temperature it all depends on this type only. Next measuring temperature. The temperature of a unit volume of air at given time is measured in scales like Celsius, Fahrenheit, Kelvin. So in news also you might have heard all these terms. Uh, 10 degree celsius 100 degree celsius so fahrenheit kelvin so these are the um, unit volume of temperature M meteorologists use the temperature by thermometer stevenson screen and minimum and maximum thermometer so meteorologists those who uh, research all these things those who measure all these things are uh, said as meteorologists and mostly they use uh, thermometer stevenson screen to measure all these elements so i'll show you a picture of thermometer so the maximum uh, heat uh, temperature is recorded between 2 to 4 pm okay 2 to 4 pm and the minimum temperature is around 4 am before sunrise so this is how it is measured next we'll see about the heat zones of the earth okay heat zones uh, the fact that the earth is spherical in shape results in different parts of the earth getting heated differently based on the heat received from the sun earth is divided into three heat zones so uh, earth is divided into three heat zones it is based on the heat received from the sun okay that uh, that is torrid zone temperate zone frigid zone it is a region between the tropic of cancer and the tropic of capricorn this region receives the direct rays of the sun and get the maximum heat from the sun so this torrid zone oh, uh, it is between tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn it is in the middle so it receives the maximum heat from the sun so most of the time it is too heat hot temperate zone the zone lies between the tropic of cancer and arctic circle in the northern hemisphere and between the tropic of capricorn and uh, antarctic circle so this zone no it get uh, decreasing towards the poles so slanting rays so not that much uh, uh, heavy rays as we get in torrid zone okay so this uh, zone experiences moderate temperature only next is frigid zone the frigid zone lies between the arctic circle and the north pole and between the antarctic circle and south pole so this is also known as polar region polar region already uh, we know that it is a cold day cold region cold area so this uh, uh, is this, uh, extremely low temperature throughout the year so it is always covered with uh, snow so these are the three heat zones one is torrid zone here we get receive maximum temperature temperate zone moderate temperature frigid zone extremely cold okay so this is the mean temperature next we'll see about rainfall rainfall is a liquid water in form of droplets that have condensed from atmosphere water vapor and then become heavy enough to fall under gravity rainfall is measured by rain gauge so rainfall we all know the uses of rainfall without rainfall livelihood is not possible human's life or any other creature's life is not possible so generally rainfall is high in equatorial region and decreases gradually towards the poles so rainfall is always measured by rain gauge next we'll see about air pressure the weight of air above the given area on the earth's surface is called atmospheric pressure or air pressure this air pressure is measured by barometer so the weight of air above the given area on the earth's surface on the earth's surface the weight of uh, air would differ so this um, is called it is called atmospheric pressure or air pressure so the air pressure is also measured by barometer so the high pressure leads to fair and calm weather so we'll see a thing highest pressure ever recorded we'll see a record highest ever air pressure at sea level was recorded at agata russia on 31st december 1968 the pressure was 1083.8 mb so it is the high highest air pressure the highest air pressure ever it is recorded as uh, 1083.8 mb it is in 1968 and lowest pressure is uh, 870 mb was recorded in typhoon tip near guam mariana island in pacific ocean india 1979 so highest pressure and a lowest pressure is recorded next we'll see about wind the horizontal movement of air is called wind the horizontal movement okay and uh, the vertical movement of air is said as air current so horizontal movement is called wind the vertical movement is called current the wind it is uh, 
uh, it is categorized as three types the first is planetary winds seasonal winds local winds planetary winds are the ones which blow almost in the same direction throughout the year so they are called permanent or planetary winds so almost it will be remaining in the same direction throughout the year so that is why it is called as permanent winds also seasonal winds are those which change their direction according to season in the year they are called monsoon winds so but seasonal winds no it changes according to the season of the year so it is also called monsoon uh, winds these winds blow from sea to land during summer and the land to sea during winter so during summer it is from sea to land and during winter it is from land to sea okay this is seasonal winds local winds are the winds blow all over a small area only during a particular time of a day or a short period of a year land and sea breezes are example for these winds so local winds no it uh, blow from a small area during a particular time of a day so it is a very short period of uh, a short period land and sea breezes are the examples for wind so measuring wind direction and speed so we can measure the wind direction also and its speed also wind speed is measured by anemometer wind rose in a diagram used to decide the direction and periods of prevailing winds on map meteograph or triple register is an instrument which records wind speed and direction sunshine it is also provide graphic representation so wind is also the wind speed is also measured by anemometer this picture also is displayed in this video children also the wind speed and the direction the sunshine also recorded by using the instrument called meteor meteorograph or triple register okay so this is how uh, the climate and weather are we experience in our place okay now we'll just do a recap weather is a day to day condition of our atmosphere of any place so day to day condition is called weather climate is an average weather condition it should last for 35 years temperature pressure humidity and wind are the major elements of weather and climate so temperature is the degree of heat present in the air okay horizontal movement of air is called wind and the vertical movement of air is called current so this is what we learnt in this chapter you get the notes in the next class thank you children